Catherine Ann Austin. You're wanted for murder, fraud, arson, a whole bunch of other stuff I can't remember. You're a fugitive. Got caught in Australia and the feds will bring you back. If I were you, I'd stay right here on the island. You're already gonna run into John and Sawyer. Yeah. Go back to your house, Kate. John, this has nothing to do with you. Go back to your house, Kate! John, I... I don't need to know why you did what you did, Kate. I just need to know what they said to each other. Yeah. Tell him. Miles told Ben that he would lie to the people he works for on the boat. Tell them that Ben was dead for $3.2 million. Listen, John, I'm sorry. I asked you where he was. You're not welcome here anymore. I want you gone by morning. She's been booted off the island. No, I'm just kidding. No, I guess she's not healed. But she looks better than she did last time we saw her. I'll work it out so you two can have a few minutes of privacy. I don't need any privacy. You yeah, why? Privacy. She's trying to get her daughter put in prison for the rest of her life. Why won't you talk to me? Because, Mom, the last time I tried to talk to you when you got sick, when I risked my life to see you, you screamed for help and called the police. Please. I don't want to fight with you, Catherine. Why are you here? It all changed when I thought you were dead. My doctors have given me six months to live for the last four years. I don't know how long I'm going to last. I came here to tell you that I... I don't want to testify against you. Then don't. I want to see my grandson. I just want to meet him. I don't want you anywhere near him. We're finished. We're finished. I think that's a small well, thing to it. ask, considering that, you know, her mom's the only witness, right? He wants me gone by tomorrow. What, he banished you? Pretty much. Well, I unbanish you. You can't. Not in <sighs> democracy, my... remember? Okay, tell me. What do you remember? A queen of diamonds. Then we six. Uh, clubs, sorry, and we have a, a red ten of <sighs> hearts, maybe. Oh, it's two out of three. It's not bad. It's progress. Three cards, Charlotte. <laughs> Calling your boat all day. Why isn't anyone answering? We're here. How should we know? If they're not answering, well, then they're probably... Are you telling me there is only one line on that boat? There is another number that we're only supposed to use in emergencies. It's an emergency. Regina, it's Charlotte. Why are you calling me on this number? Minkowski wasn't answering. The people on the island want to talk to their friends, make sure they're all right. What? Friends? They left last night. Frank took them up in the helicopter. What do you mean they took off? I thought the helicopter was with you. I mean, we know Saeed makes it. Open your mouth. Why? Really oh. gonna blow him up? Don't talk. Bite down. Bite down. <laughs> I realized that when I tied you up in here the other day, I made the mistake of failing to introduce myself. My name is John Locke, and I'm responsible for the well-being of this island. Eventually, Miles, you're gonna tell me who you are, and you're gonna tell me about the people on the boat, and you're gonna tell me why you're so interested in Ben. In the meantime, however, you're going to keep your mouth shut. You can't expect him to I hold that grenade. Yesterday. No use having rules if there's no punishment for breaking them. You'll be fine if you bite down on the trigger. Enjoy your breakfast. How can you resist after that all? I'll keep you safe. Then. <laughs> no. Come on. Why? All right. You still think you might be pregnant? I'm not worried. I'm not pregnant. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I mean, woo! Would it have been the worst thing in the world? Yes, yes, it would have been the worst thing in the world. <laughs> Good, you, what would we have done? Digging a hole baby? even deeper here, Sawyer. I'm going back to the beach. Beach? What, you're leaving because of this? That's that? 
You crawl up in my bed one second, and the next you just... Goodbye, James. You're just looking for some excuse to split, and now you got one. Well, that's all right, Freckles. I ain't gonna hold it against you. I'm just gonna sit right here in my comfy bed. Because in about a week, you'll find some reason to get pissed at Jack and bounce right back to me. Ooh. He ain't wrong, no. <laughs> Miss Diane Jansen, the mother of the defendant, is unable to testify because of medical reasons. Now she want to do a deal, probably? All right. Time served plus 10 years probation and agreement that she does not leave the state. What does that matter? She can go in I'll take it. No, wait, Kate. Give me something to sign and I'll sign it. And then I walk out the back door. I just want this to be over. I can do that. Ten years probation, and you stay put. Why did she want her to stay in the child. state? I'm not going anywhere. Thank you. You're saying what you did. You're welcome. You know, Jack, I've heard you say that story so many times. I'm starting to think you believe it. I didn't mean it. I still love you. You want to follow me? Come by for a visit. I I actually have to get over to the hospital. But um, maybe you and I could grab some coffee together or something. Is it his son? And he doesn't want to meet his kid? I know why you don't want to see the baby, Jack. But until you do, until you want to, there's no... You and me going for coffee. If at any time you change your mind, come and see us. Yeah. Okay, right now what I'm getting is they hook up at some point, she gets pregnant, and he doesn't want anything to do with his kid. I hope that's wrong, because that's really shitty of Jack, if it's true. Kate, I'm so glad you're back. Oof. He missed you so much. Did you keep him away from the TV? Absolutely. I just put him down for a nap. Hi, Mommy. How long has he been on, like, off the island? I heard. Oh. What? What? Shut up. I don't want to hear it. What? What the frick was that? Okay, so... I've been sitting here trying to process what I just saw. And... So, Kate didn't have a kid. Unless it's just a coincidence that she named her child Aaron just like Claire's kid. But the kid is also blonde like Claire. So that makes me worried that something happened to Claire. Like, Charlie died because he believed that he would rescue Claire and the baby. And if Claire didn't make it off the island, then his death was for nothing. But as of right now, Saeed and Desmond are missing, along with the pilot. Um, we know Saeed makes it home. Because we saw him in the last episode working for Ben. Uh, so I don't know where they are. And I don't know if Desmond's okay. Because we don't know if he made it to the future. Uh, as of right now, I believe. Um, so it turns out Kate did pay for her crimes. Sort of. She at least went on trial. But because the mom decided not to testify against her. Um... The pretty much didn't have anything on her anymore because the whole case pretty much laid with the confession she gave to her mother. Um, so they gave her no jail time and she has to be on probation for 10 years and she's not allowed to leave the state. I don't know why it's so important she can't leave the state, but whatever. Um, she jumped at it, said fine, because she has a kid who may not be her kid. It may be Claire's kid that she's raising. For some reason and for some reason it bothers Jack like does he feel responsible for 
Claire not being with her child? And Claire's his sister. I wonder if he ever figures that out, that she's his uh, half-sister. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. And the way John was in this episode, I don't really like... Right, I don't like it. He's acting like he's the king. And uh, can do whatever he wants to whoever he wants. Um, I mean... I don't really like Miles, but I don't think putting a grenade in his mouth and making him hold it there for however long he's going to make him do that is justified. I don't. Um, he didn't try to escape or anything. He just wanted to make get some money off of it, which I don't know why he would do that. <laughs> I mean, we we already saw that he's a thief, okay? But I don't know. It just seems strange. And Charlotte and Dan, what's going on with them? Like, he couldn't remember three cards, and she said that it was progress, but I just, progress for what? Did he have, like, a brain injury or something that we don't know about? I don't know. So, I mean, that's basically all that really happened. I mean, I enjoyed the episode. It was interesting. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway... Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, please give this video a like. If you have any suggestions on anything you'd like me to react to, please leave that down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.